Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. It is summer solstice, winter solstice where most of you are. Summer solstice here, I've just had a lovely swim in the sea uh, to celebrate and uh, I'm back at the tarot table with the Lightseer's Tarot for a couple of readings, short five card readings today um, that I'm calling Ladies Day and um, the first reading is about that Christmas Carol concert that the Princess of Wales, Catherine the Princess of Wales, put together and it was notable that several of them were colour coordinated, well seemingly colour coordinated. Pippa and Zara and Catherine wore lovely burgundy coats, all exactly the same shade. And Sophie Wessex and um, Camilla wore sort of snow coloured winter coats as well. So was this deliberate? Was this a message to Meghan Markle who claimed in her mockumentary that she had to wear subdued colours, boring beige, uh, so as not to clash with senior royals and not to draw attention from them. Uh, was this a message to her and how did she feel when she saw them? Did she see red? That's the reading, just a light-hearted reading. I'm going to keep it light today in this reading. Um, lots going on, lots going on in the world, lots going on in my world, lots going on in your world and I do need to uh, preserve my energy for those things and just keep it light here on the channel. Let's remind you this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. It is all just my opinion or speculation. I read on the royal family, the British royal family. One more shuffle because it's an archetypal family. Uh, lessons for all of us in dealings with our own family and with our own difficulties as we try and navigate our own problems in our lives. And that is what's going on. Five card reading about the burgundy coats. The beautiful burgundy coats that those three women wore and uh, impact on Megan really at the end of it all. Will she ever fit into that sisterhood? What is her relationship going to be like? That's the outcome I, I want to know with these women who obviously will get on fantastically well. They're a very tight-knit group. They seem to really support each other and really like each other. Megan's place in that is the outcome of this reading. And a very interesting card is the underlying energy, the Three of Swords in reverse, the heartache and betrayal. It's followed by the Four of Swords, you might be able to see it there, uh, which is hideaway. Um, but trying to recover from heartache and betrayal and difficulty and um, get through it. And we know that the Royals have been through it, uh, particularly Catherine. Catherine's had a rough time at the hands of Meghan Markle and also of Harry and um, being accused of all kinds of things. Her marriage has been questioned, her parenting has been questioned, uh, she's been accused of making Meghan Markle cry, um, she has been the dog's barking in disapproval right now at that and so all kinds of things that she's had to navigate, difficulty in her own life that she's had to navigate it. She's trying to get through it, she's trying to get over it. I did a reading quite recently on Catherine's energy, how she's handling all of this hate that is coming her way. It was interesting she seemed to be on, on in good form. She seemed to be handling it. She seemed to have decided she was not going to let it bother her. But she's working hard here. And I think the sisterhood is working hard to help her through it because it's a three. And I have spe specified the three women, Zara and Pippa and Catherine as a team, as a unit, who are trying to help her, trying to guide her and support her through this pain and heartache and betrayal. Very interesting underlying energy. Um, so tell us the situation, tell us the energy, this, the heart of this reading. What are we dealing with? Page of Cups. This is an emotional connection message. He looks very like Prince William, this Page of Cups. Prince William never comes across as a page these days. He's king. He's completely king energy in these readings. Um, but it's a it's a message. It's it's an emotional communication. It, it's, a, it's a warmth and a support um, kind of a message that's going out. Pages are all about messages. Page of Cups, an emotional message. They are signaling to watchers, whether it's the British public or the world public or Meghan Markle and Harry back in Montecito, that they are tight. They are warmly bonded and connected with each other. They are very supportive of this woman who has been hurt and betrayed and would really like to sneak away and hide, but can't. She's got to be in the public eye. That's her job. That's her position. Uh, she can't just run away like Harry and Meghan did, of course. Um, so let's see, was this deliberate? Did they color coordinate? Did they sit down and say, okay, this is the palette, this is what we're going to wear? We did the world. I think they did. <laughs> 
um, it's look at those. It's a rainbowy kind of a dress that this girl is wearing. She looks ecstatic. She's very happy. The world card is a successful completion of a cycle, um, and it's for me the publicity card, um, the absolute publicity card. This is a message, a message of support that is being sent out to the world, and I do think they did it very deliberately. It's a major arcana. And it's a victory card in a sense because it's the, the successful energy. It's she survived this. She survived this betrayal and this heartache and this anguish. And look at her now. She's free. She's liberated. She's beautiful. She's radiant. She's glowing. She's in all those bright colors. And we are there with her. We're there with her in spirit and supporting this victory, this very public liberation, this very public celebration of the cycle that she has emerged victorious from. It's a very potent energy that's coming through. It's a very exciting energy. Um, uh, I'm kind of buzzing as I'm looking at that card and I hope you are too. I think we need that energy right now. Uh, at the end of a very difficult year, it's amazing how many people I speak to and they say to me without any prompting, this has been the most difficult year of my life. And uh, I think it's been an incredibly difficult year for Catherine and she has emerged from it and the signal is going out, but we'll see. But definitely they uh, sat down and they decided to do this. How did it go down in Montecito? This very um, clear message. How, wow, wow. Uh, the lovers in reverse, lovers in reverse. Um, splits full, um, very, very upset, very hurt. Um, I think a fight. I think a fight between the two of them. Um, uh, I think that this Netflix series has caused a lot of conflict between Harry and Meghan behind the scenes. We saw it, we got a glimpse of it when he was watching her, when she was doing that mock curtsy and he looked so angry. Um, but I think that this, um, the lovers in reverse has a bit of a devil energy about it in this tarot deck and the light stairs. Um, there they are, and it's a biracial couple, interestingly, and it's in the reverse. I think there was a hell of a fight about this. Uh, I would say that Harry felt cornered. This is pure speculation on my part, because of course he likes his cousin Zara. He was very keen on Pepper at one stage. He was very fond of Catherine. And there they all are dressed, sending a message. And you can imagine how she went off when she saw it. And Pearl has been, much as I um, am critical of his life choices right now, I think he could have done a whole lot better. Um, I think he probably tried to defend them. He made the mistake, the fatal mistake, of defending their choices because the lovers is about choices. And he possibly said, well, you were the one that provoked it by your comments, which are patently untrue. You provoked it. Uh, he's defending their choices. I'm getting that energy off it. I know that he seems to be completely in her thrall, but I think there are moments when he tries to escape her clutches and think for himself and comes out of that fog and that mist and that brainwashing that Tom Bowers refers to. And this was one of those moments. And I think they had a humdinger of a fight about choices, bad choices. Um, and it's interesting that there is red in that card. I said, did she see red? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. It tells me that. Um, so uh, was this a message to Meghan Markle from the three women to say, we are sisters, we are united and you can't put us down like this. Um, this is a, literally a message card, eight of wands. It's movement, it's communication, it's unblocking, it's sending a fast and furious message, a media message out. It is in reverse, and you could re literally read that to mean no message and no communication, blocked communication. That's the literal uh, reversed meaning of that card, but it can also mean hidden, secret, shadow messaging uh, when the card is in the reverse, that it's insinuated, it's not a direct message, but it's a, it's a message that the receiver will understand. I think very clear that they sent this as a, they did this as a message to Meghan Markle, almost a warning. We see you, we know what you're up to. You lied, you made this nonsense up. Anyone can go and Google photos of you while you were a working royal, uh, particularly when the Harkles made that brief return from Canada, um, the Commonwealth, and when she wore that green outfit, the praying mantis outfit, that bright red dress she wore 
to the um, Royal Marines um, whatever event it was I can't remember I do apologize for not being able to remember she wore that red dress which is a very uh, apparently not the thing to do at all but she did so where's the beige the beige is a very recent thing that she's um, she's decided to do since she left the royal family the Dior beige um, that she came back wearing to the um, the Jubilee uh, let's see where is where is Megan going to fit in with the sisterhood how's it going to go for her ultimately with these three with the royal women her place in that sisterhood um, tell us about that please the star um, this is her energy of wanting to be there hoping it's hoping hoping she can be there hoping that she can be back in that firmament a firmament I need to do a back in there half in half out knocking at heaven's door kind of a reading that the Harkles are hopeful that they can get back in I don't have the strings to do it right now I think I'll save it for after Christmas and um, when my life calms down a whole lot very busy at the moment people here concerts to perform at and all kinds of uh, stuff going on so again just by the way if I don't show up for a day or two don't get in a panic um just busy busy but she's hopeful she she yearns for it she wanted to be that star she wanted to be the leading light in that firmament and she still wants to be she still wants to be up there with them she dreams about it she daydreams about it but a very clear message from them no um we we are very keen f fond of each other we are very keen to send this message out to Meghan Markle and we are very supportive of somebody who has been terribly wounded by uh, what has happened these past few years by all the attacks in the media and all the accusations and all the nonsense and um, I don't think that they see a place for Meghan Markle in this firmament but she sees a place for herself she hopes for it I think wishful thinking um, but um, we'll see we'll do the reading we'll do the reading when I have the strength and the energy to do it and see what's going to happen with them long term we know it ain't going to happen um, I've done long term readings on her fate but this is the optimist I'm still going to get that tiara I'm still going to be there I'm still going to be smiling and talking to them all uh, for the cameras to see that is what she hopes for so she can be a, a, a royal star uh, at this Christmas time uh, in your dreams girl in your dreams but that's my opinion and this is all my opinion for entertainment purposes that's your reading thank you for watching and I'll get on with the next one